bless up again my viewers subscribers if you're new here please hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell if you are already subscribed to the channel just press like now man share the video now man help the channel grow get better bigger and better so we can reach more people just like yourself yeah man i only may talk to my value subscribers yeah man loyal jamaican subscribers all around the world also so no further ado my viewers let us get into it straight into the story one Dan, black man and pnp god graffiti scene in jones avenue enclave a police witness on monday showed several photographs of a graffiti with the words one Dan, black man and pnp sprayed in several sections of jones avenue spanish town the reputed headquarters of the Wandan faction of the Klansman gang at the keenly watched ongoing trial. The prosecution is trying to use the image to prov prove that the 33 accused person on trial in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston are members of a gang that has been based in Jones Avenue. Several witnesses include two former gangster turned state witness previously testified that Jones Avenue was the base of the Wandan outfit. The lease, the latest police witness during his evidence in chief said he was a crime scene detective who is attached to the scene of crime unit of the St. Catherine North Police Division. He explained that in 2019 he was sent to Jones Avenue by, an, by his superior to take photograph to use as evidence against the suspected gangsters. The photograph that were entered into evidence showed graffiti plastered over walls in the community. One of the phrase was one than the name of the alleged criminal organization, while the other graffiti was Blackman, the alias of the reputed leader, the leader of the Klangsman gang, Andre Blackman Bryan. The third word plastered in graffiti was PNP, the abbreviation of the opposition People's National Party to which the Klansgan has long been side to be generally political aligned. In November of last year, a former gangster who claimed he was the second in command of the Dan of the gang testified that he and another gangster attend political meetings that were organized by PNP across the island with women allegedly transporting goods for them to and from the meetings. The former gangster witness said he and accused Carl Bleach would attend these political meetings. Meantime, the presiding judge, Chief Justice Brian Sykes, rejected evidence from a police corporal who suggested that Owen Armsby, alias Mickey, one of the 33 accused persons on trial, had been providing him with information about the gang since 2014. The officer claimed that it was when he arrested Armstrong in November 2019 that he realized that it was the same man who had been giving him information on the gang's operation and its members, but Armsby Lawyer Kimani Bryson raised objections to the testimony by pointing out that it was not in the officer's witness statement. When pressed by Sykes as why the information was just coming to light, prosecutors explained that they only learned of the information on Monday morning before the start of the day's proceedings. Sykes then turned to the witness asking him why he never provided information to police investigators. In response, the lawman said he believed that charges would be laid against Armsby. Also, he claimed that the investigations into the alleged criminal organization progressed rather quickly. Sykes, in response, dismissed the cop's explanation and rejected the evidence. The judge indicated that he could not understand how the corporal did not see the information he had as being valuable to the case. Brian, along with 33 other men and women, are being tried under the Criminal Justice Presentation Act. 
criminal organization, better known as the anti-gang legislation, and an indictment with 25 counts. The men and the woman have been tried with multiple offenses, including being a part of a criminal organization, illegal possession, ammunition, conspiracy, and a lot more thing. The offenses were allegedly committed between January 2015 and June 2019 in St. Catherine. The trial will commence tomorrow morning. So please on a look out for more. Sent and man police forced to apologize to PM Sue's government. Sentence resident Shaquille Higgins, whose video recording police directed apology to Prime Minister Andrew Olness went viral last year as Sue the government. Higgins was arrested in July after he alleged ex disrespect the Prime Minister and expressed disregard for the COVID-19 restriction and measurements but the police had cop visited his home because he was a suspect of a larceny matter. They said he was taken to the police station and was later released after a question and answer session. An internal police probe was also launched into the conduct of the cop. Meantime, Higgins is seeking damage for false imprisonment and assault. He is also seeking damage for aggravated and externally damage. The Senton hotel worker is also claim damages for the breach of the constitution damage under the Cybercrime Act and any other relief as the court deems fit. Lawyer Bert Samuels and Charles Gangsign are representing Higgins in the Sioux, which was filed in the Supreme Court last week. Higgins, who worked as a busboy at the Moon Palace Hotel in St. Anne, has named the lawyer, the, the Attorney General, as the defendant. He contend that on July the 26th last year, he was detained and falsely imprisoned for 24 hours without reasonable cause. So viewers, a lot of things are going right now. A lot, a lot, a lot of things, my viewers. So I want to just stay tuned for some more updates coming soon. So I want to continue to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Until another one, it's a bless up. Live good, work good.